Welcome to the first of a, an EPRA PropTech series of video interviews, podcasts and seminars. I'm joined today by Richard Gerritsen, Senior Director at Yardi. Richard, thanks very much for joining us. Um, a lot of focus around AI. How are you seeing that? What sort of role is that playing at the moment, in, particularly in the real estate side? At the moment, I think that the role is quite limited, but the potential is enormous. And you need to see it in line with the whole trend to automation, maybe 15, 20 years ago, big data, which was the trend about five years ago. And this is a logical next step. So once you have the data, what are you going to do with the data? But I think it is really important that we don't make this AI topic a technical something for the IT people, etc. This is a business topic. This is a driver for better business and better in the sense of making things more automated and therefore more efficient. But most of all, having better management information and AI is the underlying technology there. And do you see that as truly transformative or at least have the potential to be truly transformative? Mm -hmm. and, and I suppose, how does that relate to some of the emerging trends that, that we're seeing in real estate? It's not like a magic wand. It is not that, you know, we currently work in a very inefficient way and uh, AI makes everything better. Uh, it is a process of hard work and it is a process of a lot of preparation. When it comes to what do you need to do, it comes down to quality of data. As long as the quality of the data is not the way you want to have it, AI will not fix that for you. There is no magic wand that data will be completing your data set, etc. However, if you have a good quality and a good set of data, there is so much you can do. What are the potential challenges there for adoption and uptake mm -hmm. within the industry? Mm -hmm. you know, and are there available solutions to those at the moment? What's, what's the situation? I think there are a couple of challenges here that are relatively easy or sometimes with a lot of work to overcome. First of all, there needs to be a real understanding of what AI is and what AI is not. Uh, I refer to not being a magic wand. And the second part is that uh, AI only works with good quality data. The third part is that the humans need to learn how to apply AI and that will be a major factor. The AI will become better, better in understanding what is being asked and what is, you know, what it is required to, to do. However, also the human needs to learn how to ask the right question. It's sometimes it's not that easy to really ask what you intend to ask. And I suppose looking at the adoption side of that, are you seeing different regions um, taking this up in, in different ways at different speeds? Because mm -hmm. obviously Yardi is a global company, so yeah. you're seeing it across you know, the different regions. It's not, a, I think, a big uh, surprise that we see a better adoption or a better early adoption in the US. Uh, one of the examples that Yardi has introduced about 12 to 18 months ago is an enhanced form of chatbots and we all know chatbots uh, you ask a question you type it or maybe in some cases you can really ask the question and you get a pre-programmed answer where the experience is very much that I'm dealing with a computer with a machine with something pre-programmed the next generation chatbots and we apply that in the communication that our clients have with their tenants with their prospective tenants etc is that the ai is able to recognize the tone and recognize the the type of language that is being used if i am very angry about a problem in my apartment there will be a different response than when i just ask the same question in a very polite way what we've seen so far and what our clients have seen by adopting these, these next generation chatbots is that there's not only an improvement in efficiency, we don't need people on the phone anymore asking questions, but the bot will take care 24-7 on the majority of the questions and that's really becoming a really high percentage of questions that can be responded to by the bot. What we also see or what our clients also see is that there is a significant uptick in client satisfaction because the question is answered and the experience of the resident or the, the, the prospective resident uh, is much more positive. The question or the topic that was at hand was properly handled and therefore the experience was better. And you see that immediately 
uh, or clients see that uh, immediately in, for example, conversion rates. Eh? What is the conversion rate from prospective resident to, uh, uh, to resident? That is significant and that is solely has to do with, uh, with the adoption of chatbot. Um, and it would be interesting just to get some kind of final thoughts, I suppose, for EPRA members, for viewers and listeners to, to the podcast. What sort of advice would you offer them if they're interested in thinking about AI? Well, first of all, that it has a very significant impact, but not to worry about that because it's not a technical thing, but it's more the way we do business and the way we interact as a human with a machine. An example is the way the humans, the users, will interact with the Yardi system. Um, and that is something that we will be introducing in the next six months, where there will be like a chat GPT for Yardi users. And so instead of running a report or clicking through a dashboard to find the answer to the question, uh, you will be able to interact with the Yardi platform by coming up with the question as you know, what is my, the occupancy rate in this region for that asset class? That's what we think is very exciting and it is just the first example of how men will interact with machine. Yeah, a huge topic, I think, AI for the industry generally. Thanks very much for joining us, Richard. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Mm -hmm.